I'm Lynn and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. So today while Arnie's hopefully maybe finishing off some hay, I'm gonna try do some work with Casanova to get him ready for his breeding group and maybe we can get him in there today. We'll see, fingers crossed. Scotty's way back in the back 40. At the gate though, he's waiting for me to put his food out. So we'll go do that and get on with chores. Okay, so for those of you who wanna be profitable farmers, this is not what you do. This is poor little Linus, who we just felt sorry for. He's three months old now, so technically he should be off a bottle. We wean at three months. But he is a little smaller than the others and he had a rough start, so we're just keeping it up for a little while just because we like him. And it's coming time for market and we have to send the rams that we can't use or, or reasonably sell off to market. You know, that's not our favorite time, but it is how we pay our bills and what we have to do. So of course Leonard's staying, but um, little Linus here is not breeding stock quality. So um, on probably anyone else's farm, he would be going to meat, for meat, because we get about, this time of year I'm guessing we're gonna get about $350 a lamb at market. But we made an executive decision and neither of us could uh, deal with the thought of him going to market. So I made a phone call to the Misfits Farmstead who have taken some of our sickly lambs, lambs with broken legs and stuff like that. They have a few of them there. And I asked them if they wanted to have a lamb that has no problems whatsoever. <laughs> And uh, they said yes. So you'll be happy to know that in a few days, he'll be going to a new home, not a meat home. He's not going to market. He's going to live out his life at basically, it's like um, uh, an animal sanctuary for misfit animals or animals that had problems and stuff. So um, he's gonna live there with some of our guys, um, like Crooked Mouth, I don't know if you guys remember him, but he's there still, and a few others. So I guess that's, I say it's not a way to be profitable because yeah, we're giving sheep away, but sometimes you have to do what you feel is right. So he's going to a new home. Oh, and in case someone says, why couldn't he have just stayed here in retirement? The reason for that is that he's a ram. And you've seen how many rams we have. Uh, it just makes absolutely no sense at all. Like I said in, uh, I think it was yesterday's video, if he was a ewe lamb, it wouldn't have been a problem. But ram lambs, rams are a problem. You can't have hundreds of rams. So, um we figured this was the best solution. Right, Leonard? Yes, you are such a nice boy. So now we're in the Rowdy Barn, which is the new lamb barn. Hi, Rowdy ones. Hi. Hi, you wanna go outside? Okay, we'll let you out. So there's a little bit of a fuss right now because that one ewe lamb that was left with her mom in the call group. Uh, we took her out this morning. We just ran her over here now. So she's screaming and upset because she doesn't recognize anything. She's out with the woolies over there. And that's upset everyone else. What a noise. You gotta love the lamb barn. Okay, this will ease the noise a little bit. So 
see the little uh she was the only female in the group they were all boys so she's been removed from uh the boys and she's been removed from her mom she's old enough she's over three months old but she's upset because she doesn't recognize anyone right now but you know it only takes a few days and she's got lots of buddies this time <laughs> Arnie's wrapping again, probably while he's doing this I'm going to try catch Casanova, trim him up a bit, and then I was looking at our marker harness, we were going to try a marker harness on him, but talk about complicated, figuring out where the straps go, could be a little bit of an ordeal. But we'll maybe try that later on. Because you're a farmer doesn't mean you can't get dressed up. What, Tony? New socks? White socks. And why are they pulled up so high? Dressed up for farming. Pulled up that don't. high looks ridiculous. <laughs> Pull them down. <laughs> now if you could show them you got new shorts, that would be really good. But uh, but oh yeah, you didn't get new shorts. Nope. <laughs> hey, Benny. Okay, I'm gonna finish this up. Now I'm gonna come for my. I think it wants to rain. What kind of dog is this? Ben. Ben. Where's Mac? Okay. Well, our 100% sunny two weeks today has turned into a thunderstorm watch. We've had a few sprinkles, but no downpours yet. Arnie managed to get some of this hay wrapped. You can see probably that there's water on it. Um, he's going to pick up some more right now, but all of our hay is down, like cut and on the ground. And you can see our neighbor, same thing, all his hay is down because no one was expecting any rain. So, here's hoping we don't get a thunderstorm. Tommy's fast asleep. I'm gonna try head out with the rams here and see if somehow by myself I can snare Casanova. Might not be able to, I might have to wait for Arnie, but I'm gonna see what I can do. Okay, I did manage to catch Casanova and get him into the barn here. Everybody was having a siesta, but now everybody wants to see what's going on here. So I might just go get my scissors, see if I can trim them up a little bit nicer, and then I'm going to try get a harness on them. Sorry buddy, I'll be right back. So I just left the camera rolling while I went to get the harness and the scissors and everything. And I, Arnie's not back yet, so I figure he's going to have a big surprise when he gets back if I can get the harness on myself. Because they're pretty tricky, but I googled it because when I was took it out of the package it was explaining how to put it on, but there was no diagrams and it was talking about putting the two front straps that are wider in one place and the other straps that are thinner in another place but when I measured the two straps or the four straps they were all exactly the same thickness so I thought okay thank goodness for YouTube so I uh, watched a couple of YouTube videos about putting a harness on and came back and I think I have it down so I'm feeling confident that I can get a harness on this guy. He doesn't need trimming too much but I thought I'd tidy him up a little bit.
once you get used to trimming, you actually can trim a lot faster. putting the harness on. Ernie came back, so he came here. So right now we're just trying to adjust it so it's not too tight, but not too loose. And then that's the hard part of doing these. Following the instructions from YouTube actually helped an awful lot. The reason this is taking so long now is just because Arnie keeps adjusting the, how tight it is uh, to get it to fit him, but um, where to put the straps was obvious this time because I watched that video. So we didn't have to try, struggle, figuring out where the straps went this time because in the past that's half of the problem why we didn't use harness because it took so long to get on. We'll, we'll see. How is it, buddy? Well, he's got a really narrow chest bone where it's going to flop all over. But as long as it marks, how's how's that look, buddy? This is not tight at all, you see. Where? I can't actually try to try it. We'll try it. How is it around, like, oh, but, you yeah, know, that feels like a lot of pressure. You can't have it choking him. Well, so I caught him. Got him trimmed. Arnie got here before I could put the harness on him. So Arnie took over. Should have trimmed his feet for a second. Yep, probably. He'll be okay. Got it. So now Arnie's gonna bring him over. Okay, let's not have him here. Sorry guys, don't want fighting. Casanova over. See how this works. We don't usually like the harnesses only because they take a lot of adjusting, but they are an extremely good tool for knowing what the ram's doing, if anyone's cycling, if they recycle. Extremely good tool. So I have to write down this day that the red marker was put on them. And then uh, in 
on the 18th day, we have to catch them again and put a different colored marker in. Why don't you uh, uh, just walk back there and give me the trim? Because look at the foot in that size. Okay. Uh, as you heard, Arnie's going to try trim his feet before he goes in here. Whoop. Just calm down. Oh. Hi girls, this is Casanova. You know what that means? Ladies man. Almost done. It's already moved off. I think you can see it. Move on one side. Alright, well. So he's gonna do a little more. He's almost done. Dorset hooves are a little harder to do only because they're squirrely. It's gonna be fun after this, Casanova. And they say that um, in the first two days you probably have to keep readjusting that harness to get the, it right as it stretches and moves oh yeah that's over to the yeah. side yeah. but i don't how do you keep it from moving well, if it, it i'm guessing even at the side it's gonna mark doesn't like you. What do you think, girls? Does he look funny looking with straps on him? And a beautiful red heart. So he's just a young guy. He, he, he's just over a year. Well. Yeah, no. Yeah, he would. How, when was he born? He'd be a year and a half old now. So this is his first breeding. We got a whole bunch of views thinking he's very handsome. Well, I've got a ghost of somebody exactly. Way quicker than the Well, they're well, they're fascinated because he's he's different, and he's got all the that get up on. Oh, there he goes. Is he weird looking? I'm thinking the, little, the girls are maybe a little scared by that harness. They all seem to be running away from them. As if to say, what on earth are you? And what is that contraption you're wearing?
nothing else. They're going to get out of get a workout today. I have a feeling nobody in here is cycling. Has anyone else had ramp uh, use that were afraid of the harness? I think he's going to feel a little unloved with these girls all running away from him like this. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi. Are they running from you? Are they running from you? That's not nice, is it? That's not nice. You just want to be a friend. I think you're feeling a little unloved. It's not your fault you're wearing a silly contraption. Try again. Well, I guess we'll leave him to it for a little while. Let these girls get used to him. Because they're obviously kind of afraid of him right now. And he's not being mean or anything. But they're pretty spooky about him. And we'll come back in a few hours to see uh, if everything's calmed down.
the thunderstorms held off. It looks a little bit brighter. I mean, it's still windy like a storm and cloudy, but we're hoping it'll blow by. And he's got more loads of hay in anyway. This is still the third cut hay. This is the sky from Arnie's angle on the skid steer. Kind of freaky today. Well, I thought we would see if the girls are still running away from the poor guy. Yeah, see if the harness is choking it again. Well, you know, they come loose. Well, if they, Arnie, it's not going to come loose and choke him to death. It would choke him to death from being too tight. Just came to check up on him. I don't see anyone with any markings, but I see he's with somebody right now. Oh, his ewes look nice. Yeah, the ewes look really good. Nice coats on him. I like oh, he's oh he one. has. That's why markers are nice, because, oh, two are marked. That one's limping. I want to check that out. Who? Is this the same one that's always been limping? Right here, peeing. Oh, I don't know. I didn't think we had any limpers in this group. So one girl's limping right now. She wasn't limping when I was here earlier, so I'm guessing she might have tried to jump or something and hit, hit a gate. Hurt her leg, of course. But, <laughs> and they, they look a little tired. Were you running? And did one of you hurt your legs? Casanova's a nice ram. Why would you run from him? One hiding under the... Underneath. Hi, Tony. Hi, baby. Are they all still running from you? Are they still running? It's not nice, is it? What do you think of him? Is he kind of silly? Hi, girls. Well, anyway, I think we're going to call that a day. Tomorrow, it's going to be about these girls, hopefully. the plan That's the plan. We're going to get them sorted into two breeding groups. And we're going to put two Suffolk rams in there. So if you enjoyed your time with us today, be sure to give us a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and send us a comment. And most importantly, be sure to join us t tomorrow so we can see who is going in with these girls. Bye for now.